Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. Don't forget to like the video. Hey everybody, this is my 1917 farm home. Before I get started with the video, I'm going to wear these sunglasses because I have really sensitive eyes to the sun and I like these. If you want to pick up a pair like this or a different color, check out the link in my description. Use the code CORNSTARCOLE for 10% off. Okay guys, here's a real quick rundown on the house. So during the mid 30s, my great grandparents lived in that house right there. Then all of a sudden this house came up on a sheriff's sale, so they decided to buy it. My great grandparents farmed for a few years and then they had five children. They sold a farm to each of their children and my grandpa was one of them. My grandpa bought the farm behind the house here and he also bought the house at the same time. So after raising my dad, my aunt, and two stepchildren in this house, my grandpa has lived here for the rest of his life ever since. Sadly, in 2018, my grandfather passed away of stage four brain cancer. So since that point, I've been living here. I've been cleaning out the inside and now we're working on the outside. This siding is completely original to the house. It's 102 years old. That's right, 102. The last time the house was painted was 1977. So it, it's been a while. We were starting to get some holes in the softening underneath and we had birds flying into the attic. And we knew once that started happening, it was just a matter of time before birds started doing a lot of damage. Raccoons would get up there, squirrels would get up there, we'd get holes chewed through. That's not what we wanted. So dad and I knew that we had to get on this project. We had an estimate done by a company that said it would be between 70 and 80,000 dollars if we hired them to side the house so we figured we're pretty good with our hands seeing as we're farmers and we do a lot of our farm stuff ourselves so we decided to tackle the house we had a neighbor come down who's a really good carpenter and he helped us with all the technical stuff so all the technical stuff he did then we basically just did whatever he told us to do okay let's rewind a few months to when it was nice and warm and we started on the house here we go Here we go on the new siding. I'm gonna start up here on the top with softening and then we're gonna be tearing off siding as we go. Plenty to do, I don't really know what I'm doing. But I just get a drive tell handler. He's the one who knows what he's doing. Oops. You'll bring that dump truck over later. Cole. I would say the porch is on the house pretty good here. This is the south side of the house. Cole in the other group is working on the other side of the house. I'm gonna start taking the siding off of this side of the house. And they have heat advisories out for today. So we're gonna go to the south side of the house where it is cool. Cole the corn star is running the lift. Our friend Justin is up on the lift. They're working on the soft. Just actually kind of getting a good start on things today. I guess we could video and see if Justin gets thrown off the uh, lift or not. I was just talking to Cole here and I was recommending that you viewers at home probably should not try this at home because it takes balance and skill. And if you don't have any of that, you don't want to risk it. I really don't want to be up for you. have all the siding off this side of the house and the other side of the house already has all the siding off of it so then we'll have half of it done good feeling it is good feeling and it's looking good <sighs> a lot of work though we got a bunch done on the house today she's been a big job we got some new soffit up above got a good start on it anyhow it got pretty hot today but i think the whole group stayed at it really good just kind of gives you a view of what we're doing the house is 101 years old I guess Anna wanted to do some construction work too. 
Yeah, good girl, Anna. Well, we got Cole the corn star tearing siding off of the house. It's gonna look a lot different. This old porch here is gonna come off too. It's just getting pretty sad. Then maybe someday make a patio out there. We gotta try to push the building away a little bit. Ah, sounds like Cole's bones in the morning when he gets up. They crack. Trying to spread this little building off of the house. Let's go up underneath the there, buddy. All right, let's rip the roof off. Hold on for a second. Stop right there. Don't move. Let me check it out. I'm so bright. I need shades. Whoa. Let's see. There's a wire right there. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. And that's the one I want to cut. So I don't think we're going to be putting this porch back on the house. We want to be able to cut that wire. So if Cole wants to put a light out on the side of the house after it's done, he sure can. So let's see what he's doing out there. He's an ugly thing, isn't he? Let's see what we got, Cole. I might be able to reach up in there and cut that. If I'm going to cut it, I'm going to turn the juice off between there. If Cole's going to cut it, we're going to watch him dance. We're going to be able to cut it down, that's for sure. Oh, let's see, we got something I can stand on. What do you think, Cole? Do you want to cut it or do you want me to cut it? I'll watch you cut it and then we can watch you dance. Okay, we're going to turn the juice off first, though. Dad totally cut it before I could even get my camera out. But he survived. So now we're gonna take a skid loader and try to knock this thing off. See if we can get the old building tore off the house. What do you think, Anna? Do they know what they're doing? Yeah, right, Daddy Cornstar. <laughs> One way to do things around here, the messy way. Yeah, let's see what it looks like with it off now. Da -da 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 -da. The old house was built back in 1917. Makes it look a little different now with the uh, porch off the side. Worked a good 12 hours yesterday and a good majority of the day today. This is what we've got done so far. The siding tore off above the porch here. This porch is coming off. We need to disconnect a wire for a light that's in this porch before we can rip it off. And then that'll be coming off. This side is ready to rock and roll. Look, we even got everything all cleaned up. And then as we come to this side of the house, I just have a little bit of siding left here where the porch was. You guys saw me rip off the porch with the skid loader. And then we have a few nails along here to pull out. And then this will all be ready to go once we get the rotten spots patched up. But we're making pretty good progress and I'm happy with what we've got done. We're eating dinner. We're sitting underneath the tree enjoying our lunch. Out of nowhere comes a bird. Had to crap on my finger. Ugh. Hey, let's look at it as dessert. We don't know how this is staying on the uh, telehandler, but he is hanging on with the uh, threads. Well, remember what I said that it was hanging on by threads? Guess we could make a dance floor out there. Gotta treat it like a woman. Gotta be very gentle. We're gonna take that door up there too. Put a window up there, take the door out of there. It's just nothing but a big air leak and nobody ever goes out that door anyhow. Yeah, you go upstairs. There's a door up there. It takes you right into the bathroom. Hey, Anna. We got some more softening up today and the second layer of Tyvek. The house is starting to shape up really nicely. I'm really liking how that softening's looking and I'm excited to see how the siding is gonna look once it's on.
do something I've been looking forward to doing for a very long time, and that's chasing all the birds out of the attic. We just about have all the holes sealed up, and then once those are sealed up, they're no longer going to be able to fly into the attic anymore. This means no more waking up in the middle of the night to birds fluttering around, which is gonna be nice. Now hopefully there's no skunk up here. That would be pretty impressive if there was because he's a climber. Looks like they've been living up here for a little while. This attic is ginormous. Gonna have to plug that hole because they can fly right through that. All right, birds, let's get out. Come on, guys, fly out your holes. Fly out your holes. Not getting out that side. Not getting out that side. You guys can get out that side, though. All right, guys, come on. Let's go. Out your hole. Out your hole. Looks like one didn't make it out. Fly out right there. I will admit, it is pretty toasty up here. Guys, you look like a bunch of flies on the window. Just go out the hole. You know how you got in here. Man, this is real sketch here. So over here in front of the house, I used to have a whole bunch of rocks and stuff sitting here and it was just kind of messy, so I cleaned that up today. But I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this has a nice little hill right here and I want it to be flat. I want it to be the level that it is over here. This raises almost 18 inches here in the middle and that's not what I want. So what I'm gonna do, hop in the skid loader, we got the dirt bucket on, we're gonna plow through this, level it down nicely. We got a little hole back there, we're gonna fill that. And then this will be really nice through here, we'll seed it with grass. The reason why there's a hole right here is because a few years ago, there used to be a fruit cellar right here. My grandpa decided to tear it down one day and it just kinda settled into a little more of a hole than I'd like to have there. Justin's getting the window framed in up there. The door is gonna be gone and we're gonna have a nice window. It's gonna be a lot tighter. That old door let in a lot of air. Now, do you guys see that big old pine tree right there behind me? Yeah, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with that tree. I like the shade it provides, but it is the messiest stinking tree you'll ever experience in your life. You can't park anything under it because then sap falls all over it and it gets all over your vehicle and you can't get it off and ugh, it drives me nuts. Anyway, I wanna take it down, but we don't have the time right now to take that down. However, there are quite a few branches that are hanging kind of over the house and I don't like that. So we're gonna change blades here on the saw, grab the telehandler, lift up to that tree, trim some of those branches that are hanging over the house, get that kind of cleaned up a little bit. Then down the road, we're gonna cut that bad boy down. I know it's a good looking tree, provides a lot of shade, but man, the thing's messy. It's getting old. I don't want it to fall in the house. It's right next to the house. Those are all just excuses on why I want the thing gone. But anyway, we're gonna do some trimming. That branch right there is coming down and that goes all the way out to the end.
sufficiently windy up here. In case you wondered what the top of my house looks like, it's what it looks like. Cole's always wanted uh, sculpture ice, so he's learning on trees. Some of you probably think that's a rip in the back of his pants. Them actually came that way. It's for ventilation. It drops your body temperature 18 degrees. You have to bring me up higher, Dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he's kind of a bossy little thing, ain't he? Oh, sure, Cole. I'll get right on it, buddy. Oh, yeah. Bit. You know, the nice thing is when you're running these machines and they're way up there 100 feet in the air, you can pretty well do whatever you want down here. If I want to take a nap, he's stuck up there. I'm thinking $150 when he wants down ain't a bad fee. It'll look a lot different around here though. Getting house done, getting some of these trees cleaned up. Cole's been doing a real good job. Cooper's been helping. His mom's been helping. I'm going to put a glass of water on the ground here and I'm going to see if he can jump in it. Shh. Trying to trim up this tree because we're a little concerned. Some of these branches were hanging over the new roof and we don't want it to fall and hit the siding and stuff. So we thought, try to trim up some of these branches. When I say we, I mean, hey, we can say we. When it's a family operation and you're working together, don't matter if you're running the chainsaw or the telehandler, it's a we. Now, if I was up there cutting the branches, it would be I am cutting the branches. I'm picking on Cole because he can't hear me. Can't even see him. He's like a bird. He's trying to kill me. He's trying to drop a branch on me. Drop a lot of branches. This is an old pine tree and it's a messy son of a gun. You park within 20 feet from it. It's like the sap floats right towards your car. So we'll see how much sap Cole gets on his body. He'll stick to his sheets tonight. Jeez, dad, you made a huge mess. Now who's going to have to pick this up? I suppose I'm going to have to go on strike until Daddy Cornstarch starts picking up some sticks. There's Cole's boots. You can't see him out there too good. He's out cleaning windows to re... There's his good old leg. That looks like a rat ate his pant leg off. Okay guys, here we are back in the middle of December again. We got the house halfway sided. We ended up having enough time to side only half of the house. We had a really wet spring this year and then it was super windy for a couple weeks. So it was the middle of July before we were able to get started on the house. So we only had a few weeks worth of working on this and we did a lot of our work on the weekends. So this next spring we're going to be attacking the other side of the house and then the entire outside will be done. So we'll start on the front of the house here. We got this deck plating right here. I want to build a deck out here that way I can come right out of my kitchen and I can grill and stuff and just have a nice little hangout area. I know a lot of people are going to be wondering what kind of insulation we have behind here. It has the old insulation that came with the house in 1917. I don't know if it has any R value but there is insulation. We left it in there and we didn't pump anything in. That's because Later, when we start renovating the inside of the house, I'd like to put in a different kind of insulation. We're going to be tearing from the inside out anyway. we got to replace all the wiring and stuff upstairs because the old wiring in the top of the house is knob and tube wiring. And as most of you know, that is not safe. The bottom of the house has new wiring ran up, so for all my appliances and stuff that are running, that is safe. But upstairs, not so much. But anyway, that's the story with the insulation going on there. That's why we didn't put in new insulation before we put the siding on. I will be getting a storm door for that door right there. So then I'm going to restain that wood door and it's going to look really nice. And that storm door will protect that. The porch that was on here was completely rotten. And we figured the money that we'd be tossing back into that, we might as well tear it off and build new if we wanted to. But I really like the idea of putting a deck out here instead. This side of the house turned out phenomenally. As I mentioned before, we redid the softening all the way around around the house it looks really nice now that's an aluminum softening and then we have vinyl siding here on the house and these are four inch sectors i believe we would have liked to go with a different type of siding on the house instead of vinyl siding but the price basically doubled and if we were just talking five thousand dollars worth of siding double price doesn't sound horrible but when we're talking twenty thousand dollars for siding 
Yeah. At first I was totally against the idea of going with vinyl siding, but now that we got it on, it does actually look really good. The little walk-in porch that was on this side was completely rotten as well. That's why we tore it off. We gotta get a light up there yet, but this side of the house turned out really nice. I really like how the white trim around the windows looks as well as the white corners of the house. Someday down the road here, I wanna tear this down and I wanna build a really nice garage with nice wash bays and stuff in here. Then I wanna put a connecting way between the two. That way I can have a farm office and stuff out here and then we're not having to trek into the house to have our farm meetings. We can do it all right out here and then we'll have another nice workshop. Won't happen for a little while unless I run into a ton of money because that's expensive. All of you who have a house and all of you who also don't have a house know that houses are expensive in the first place to buy and they're expensive to work on. And the projects never end. Ever. Ever. As for windows in the house, a lot of these windows were actually put in in the mid 90s, but they've had storm windows over them. So they haven't been exposed to the elements at all, except for sunlight. And then we trimmed all the windows with white metal, so they have a really nice appeal to them. I need to get my storm window up on this yet, and I need to paint that window, and then that'll look really nice. Got a bunch of stuff to pick over here. I got an old cistern I need to fill in. And then on the front of the house here, we have this beautiful porch. Honestly, this porch needs tore off and it needs to be replaced. The roof is still good, so we won't have any issues there but the bottom is bad and then these pillars need to be reset. So we're gonna end up tearing those out, putting new ones in. We're gonna be doing that this next summer here. I don't have the funds or the time to do it right now. So that's kind of put on the back burner. Nothing's gonna fall off the house at the moment. So we have a little bit of time. Ah, there we go. I ended up grabbing some gloves. My hands were a little chilly. But yeah, guys, we've been working hard on the house. We got half of the outside done. We got the other half to go. We're gonna be doing that this next summer. We got a lot of projects left on the inside. All I've done on the inside so far is clean it out. So we still got unlimited projects left in this thing. If you guys think this is the end of the videos, don't worry because we still have a virtually unlimited supply of stuff to do to the house. And once the house is done, we got all kinds of stuff stuff here around the farmyard to work on. We got junk to pick up. We got buildings to tear down. We got buildings to pick up. We got groves to pick up. We got trees to cut down. We got landscaping to do. We got a shop to renovate. We got a grain bin system to build. We got fields to take care of. We got waterways that need work. We got fences that need poles. We got more trees that need to be cut down. And that's just part of it. So what I'm trying to say guys is if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, write it down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Seriously guys, I have so many projects and I'm gonna be documenting them all and they're gonna be all awesome videos just like the one you're watching right now. So if you wanna stay tuned for all that stuff and not miss out on any of it, be sure to hit the subscribe button, then hit the little bell notification right beside the subscribe button then that will notify you when I post a new video. Don't worry guys, it's all completely free and it's well worth your time. All right guys, until next time, say goodbye to the house real quick. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you.